another man. I actually had brought this. I thought I was going to meet Lou Gray. But that was. Oh. Right, go ahead. Might as well get right. Me. I'll keep this for Christmas Day dinner. <laughs> and the whole family will smoke. <laughs> now, the last time I talked to you two, you were on screen. I talked to Michael by satellite, and you were by the wonder of television down the road in Wembley. Yes. Yeah, and we didn't see a pigtail there. It was very, very becoming. Isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah. I mean, is that your, is that your token gesture to, to the pop world? Uh, actually, we've been so busy, I haven't had time to get a haircut. <laughs> I mean, well, they pay a little better than you. <laughs> How can you say that? How can you say that? I did the show before. <laughs> He's the highest paid man on Broadway. He's crying to be on the show because of the money, aren't you? It's certainly not the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I get to twice as much. Yeah, <laughs> could, you, could you handle this, man? Actually, I uh, probably could, but unfortunately, Michael has me signed to an exclusive contract, so I, yeah. by contract, I could. What would you do with him? What would I do with him? Oh, he's doing pretty good as, uh, as he's going. In fact, you're coming to L.A., right? Yes, I am. That's great. Yeah. I'd like to get a couple of tickets. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> he always runs around to his head. He should walk into Hey, these are the jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is this... I have to say that, that Michael Jackson is one of the, the great major stars who has had the nerve to come out and be counted as it were. Like Springsteen, he comes live and people then can judge whether he's as good as he is on record. And I think the general perception is that Jackson's been even, even better in terms of watching on stage. Now, is he going to continue to do that, to expose himself in that way? To tour or to do a tour? <laughs> no, to tour. Is he going to, to continue? Tour. I doubt very much if we'll do a tour, uh, uh, again, this size in particular. We'll do some performances. But uh, we're going to go on probably into movies and to do more records. But, uh, I think that's where we're going to go from now on. Would you? You've got it. This tour has been a long tour, 17 months. It is a long tour. Crazy. So it gets pretty. Uh, yeah. But you see, why not, why not stagger it? Why not to say two months one year, two months the next year? But the thing is, you've created such a demand that people are going to. I mean, if you won't tour now again. Well, it's only the demand, demand is the size of the show and it's the expense of starting it up and yeah. you know, getting all the right musicians together. And, you know, it's, it's not like you can call them every six months and say, what are you doing? A lot of these musicians are booked a year in advance. Yeah. But you've had a very successful album as well, haven't you, Michael? I mean, would you, would you do a concert? Michael Crawford live sings. Yes, I'd like to do that when I come back eventually. Uh, I'd like that very much. I went to see Michael Jackson's concert in, uh, in New York, Madison Square Garden, and I was one of the ones on top of the chair with <laughs> my daughter. Uh, Lucy, and uh, it, it was such an incredible show. And he was superb. Thank you very much. Wonderful stuff. I mean, it's the question I wouldn't expect you to answer in the negative, but uh, or in a negative sense. But Michael does get strange stories told about him. What sort of a person is he then? Tell us how he appears to you. Well, he appears, he appears to me to be very normal. I mean, he is a very normal person. He's a very hardworking person. He's someone that's dedicated to his career. How much of it is him, Frank? I mean, how much has been taken away? All the stories we hear about the plastic surgery and everything. Oh, that's all rubbish, you know. That, those are things that the tabloids in America make up to sell newspapers. Uh, you know, there's, unfortunately, in America, we can't sue like you do here in, in London or in Europe. So, I mean, we, you know, we'd be in court every day. So, it's, you know, rather than even chase them, just let them say whatever they want. You know, I know it's horse rubbish. You know, you know, and the real fans know it. You know, that's what really counts. But it'd be nice to have him on here to say that himself, you see. He doesn't give interviews. No. Why not? No. Well, that's, that's something that he and I decided five years ago when I said to manage him. It's, it's really better that way. One, it, you know, he doesn't get misquoted. And two, uh, but they it's kind right. of a tough decision on who you're going to do it with. You know, without, yeah. Of course. Without making everybody but, else But if you, don't, if you don't prepare, not, not only will they not will they misquote you, they'll tell lies about you because they have to make it up. They've got to sell it. Oh, yes, but I have to believe that the uh, American people and the European people are a lot smarter than the newspapers. Yeah. How's that one? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I think people still believe what they read in newspapers. Do you? You think so? Yeah. You might. I think they're influenced by it, yes. But I mean, I, I had an image of, of Michael before I, I met him because he came to see the show. And uh, there, was a, there was a great thing of, of, 
you see, it, it's very like going back to the, the old days where in, in Hollywood there were stars that were unapproachable, that, that, that did live in, in, in sort of uh, seclusion. And uh, that has all gone now. We don't have that kind of thing. So I suppose uh, Michael really lives in maybe that kind of way. Preserved in a bit. Yes. Is he part in, of a... In a bit. In a bit, that could be it. But uh, he's actually a very shy person. Very shy. Say again. That's right. Okay. Right. Hey, welcome. I'm not very good, but I think that's moon, moonwalk. That's one wonderful thing to see. People floating across the state. Now, you're only nine. Nine? How old are you? Nine? nine yeah. How long have you been dancing like Michael Jackson? Four. Four. And we, I mean... Did your parents want you to be in showbiz? Was it you who wanted to be in, or what? It was me. I wanted to be in showbiz. Yeah. And, and you met you met Michael Jackson, of course. Yeah. Is he? I mean, is he your idol? Are you a big fan? Well, yeah. He, he's a very he's wonderful. He's a very nice person. <laughs> was he as you expected him to be? Mm, well, I said he. Was, I said he was a nice guy. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what did he say when he saw you dance? Uh, he was like, wow. <laughs> 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 yeah, the character is Zeke. Zeke, isn't it? Yeah. What do you do in the film? What does Zeke do? Uh, Zeke is a streetwise kid, you know. Like you? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, bone your mouth. You don't wish I'm like that. No. <laughs> I'm not a motor now. Uh, you know, just street life. But who? Yeah. Yeah. Savvy. Michael? <laughs> you were gone there for a minute? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, were you streetwise at nine? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I didn't know what a girl was until I was 14. <laughs> <laughs> you got a girlfriend. You got a girlfriend, Brandon? Yeah. Yeah. You would, you see. <laughs> Frank, were you streetwise at nine? I bet you were streetwise at nine. I was pretty smart at nine. I was smoking cigars at uh, nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> they stunted your growth. <laughs> I'm the first one to know. <laughs> so was it fun making a film with, with Michael Jackson? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, any kind of tricks or anything that he did? What did you get up to anything? Well, uh, I remember one day when... Uh, it was time to go home because we had finished working on the set and all of a sudden all I saw was a big old water gun pointed in my face by Michael. And all of a sudden he just started soaking everybody with water gun. <laughs> everybody was soaking water. Yeah. Have you spoken to him since the film was completed? Uh, yeah, he called me. Mm -hmm. Called you? That's nice of him, Michael Jackson called. <laughs> <laughs> And what about, have you seen, have you met Bubbles? Did you meet the gym? Yeah. How'd you get on with him? He was funny. He was like, you know, in the uh, batting, the part, well, uh, in the making, uh, they have like this one part, and say, Bubbles sitting right behind. You want to play Bubbles? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> animals and children, <laughs> animals and children. <laughs> okay, I sit there and uh, Bubbles is so in. Cross my legs. Bubbles are good. Bubbles put them on. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got one for you. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, you <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I came yeah. out yeah. first. Bubbles was doing whatever you did. Yeah, and then Bubbles put a, a raisin up to my mouth. Mm -hmm. So I eat the raisin, and then I feed him a raisin. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, then I pick him up and just carry him out. <laughs> Go on, then. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! 
I'm not breaking my back. Jenny, <laughs> <laughs> this is a very slim act, Jenny. I said Frank Delay will be another thing. <laughs> Have you any advice for a budding actor, Michael? Uh, uh, I mean, th that kind of enthusiasm is all you need, um, yeah. and uh, I think he's got a great, uh, as they say in America, role model with, uh, with Michael about his professionalism and his dedication to work. So uh, I think if he follows, he follows Michael, he won't be uh, doing half badly. Yeah, he's, he's going like he to be great. He really is, because he's a natural dancer, yeah. and he's got an awful lot of talent. Good. Well, yeah. Brandon, they're rooting for you, and it's nice to see you, and thank you for coming, and thank you, Leo. One dark 